telling you all the action is, of course, Gazerin, Roll Disney, uh -huh. T-Base. We are here. Day four of the Winter Major, the first time we're going to have a crowd here. I'm excited. It feels like such a long time, but I got to say, it's a beautiful day Woo! to have it in L.A. at the SoFi Stadium base. How you feeling today, my boy? Mm -hmm. Guess what? We got a lot of yapping to do today. So, of course, as the Winter Major begins and as the crowds roll in, we got to talk about who's still here left in the YouTube theater. Who's still playing, of right. course. We have a, a beautiful slew of teams. Let's take a look at our contenders to see exactly all the regions that are still left. We know we have some NA teams. We know we have some EU teams. And, of course, if you look at that, we have a Sam team as well. That Team Fury. They, these guys are monsters, but roll this. Tell me how you feel about this. Oh, there's so many fantastic teams here. I know that we're going to have two exciting days to finish out the beautiful weekend. South America, that's vamos, baby. And I can't wait to see what they do on the main stage. <laughs> Man, it's, go, it's really fantastic to see Sam making it all the way here. Probably there's very few people to expect it, unless your name is Jordan or Corelli. Yep. So uh, outside of them, to really outside them in their own region, nobody really expects them to be here just yet, but they're here to put on the show. They're here to really prime, and they got to go up against some great EU and NA teams. That's right, they do. As we take a look at the bracket, let's see exactly where these teams are situated as we get things underway. If you look at that top half of the bracket, it's all Americas, except that's a, the Fury team. It has been 832 days since Garrett G finally lifted that trophy in Madrid. 27 months since we welcomed the Rocket League community in through our front doors. Over two years since we've had a proper land championship in front of our family. What you're about to see this weekend, this is special. This is the product of 27 months of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. This is the RLCS Winter Major. This is the YouTube Theater. And this is Rocket League! everybody too because you know we have people who are still outside like <laughs> right. around us they're still out there <laughs> shopping i guess shopping again that nrg fade thing and todd murray all she has merged right behind us in my back right corner they're also out here listening to us i mean mm -hmm. got, uh, it's crazy out here man that many people inside that many people still outside uh mm -hmm. but let's see what the crowd inside feels about this matchup we're gonna go to the crowd inside the youtube theater if you're an eg fan make some noise i think he's making noise there you go. <laughs> They are making some noise. Look at the They're going crazy. Queso fans, make some noise! Oh, yes, yeah. 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 You hear Queso getting way louder and more proud. They're getting up and they're getting loud. I'm like wave pump. <laughs> <laughs> but guess what? You better get up and get loud. It's game day. We're going on to our first match with the crowd in two and a half years. Queso versus EG. On the call is Subi, Stumpy, and Spaceman. Rocket League fans from around the world have assembled at the YouTube Theater to witness our first matchup with a crowd for the Winter Major. 
Um, I think G2 is the best team because of our team environment. We, uh, we're a very structured team. I think G2 is the best team because we picked up Atomic from the machine, aka NBA's ball. Now we're fresh off a victory against BDS, arguably the best team in the world. Best team in the world no more, can you know why? G2's here to stay, baby, myself included, and with also Chicago, one of the best duos ever to play this game. We had Atomic, you already know what's gonna happen. Pure domination, 3-0, one group C, we're coming for this winner major victory. I think what other teams have to do to beat us is play like a slow play style. We really struggle against teams that slow it down, dribble, and I think other teams that play fast, we just match their pace, so we beat them like that. What, are, what do other teams have to do to beat us? I don't know. Have you lost yet? No. We're 3-0 and for a reason. I don't know what it's going to take for some team to beat us because we haven't seen it happen yet. Hopefully somebody can have the script. Actually, no. Hopefully nobody has the script because nobody's going to beat us. We might just go undefeated this whole entire tournament. Come on now, ask me a better question. I think our greatest strength as a team is communication. Uh, our whole game relies on communication, so one play, if we have a missed call or no one's speaking, like we just break down, and a lot of our goals are caused that way. You saw Monkey Moon, he tried to come back on it, he tried to start balling like he was the best in the world, we weren't faced, we weren't worried. Chicago in that post-game interview told us that one of our greatest strengths is that we always come back, we're always ready for all that competition, baby. They thought they had the momentum, we shut them down. We said, we saw, you saw Atomic off the ceiling. To me, myself, I slide it bottom right, it's game over every single time. We can do everything and all things, cause we're the G2 on me. Uh, I don't think I'm the best player in the world. I think uh, a few more trophies and maybe I could say that, but... Nah, definitely not. Definitely the best player in the world, no question about it. I'm, listen, I'm underrated. They always blame me or they always said I'm not as good. They always bring up Gary G because Gary G has a Justin. I've never had a Justin. Now I got a full team, a full complimentary roster. I got Atomic in Chicago. And you're already seeing the results starting to pay dividends. This is our first time playing together. It's been a solid two months and we're already at the top upper bracket. Guaranteed top six and we're going all the way. Come on now. And sooner rather than later, you're going to call me the best player in the world. And that's just the facts of the matter. You see it coming. I'm done. Welcome to the YouTube Theater. We have G2 of North America going up against the champions of Sam Furia here taking the stage. All right, let's we'll see, see how you guys felt at home. Pretty split up here. Really could go either way. 41-59, the G2 Army showing up in style here. Let's hear what you think, YouTube Theater. CJ, I'm going to let you get them hyped up here. I oh, mean, come on, YouTube Theater. What do we got? We got Fury G2. It's the first catch in the upper bracket. Best of seven. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. Uh, all right, it's YouTube Theater. Are you ready? If you're a G2 fan, if you're part of the G2 Army, I want you to get up. I want you to get loud. Let's go. The crowd is going wild ready for upper bracket gameplay. Teams with nothing to lose, everything to gain. Best of sevens, Furia taking on G2 over in the Verizon Skybox. It's a Chiefs, Corelli. Chamaco's on the stage for his boys. Let's hear it. Thank you very much, Wave Punk. And two incredibly powerful offenses here, Chamaco, and a rematch as well from the Fall Major. It is a rematch indeed. It is a kind of a different situation. We know we have Atomic now and G2, a spectacular player, but Furia did it before. They won that match against G2, and they are here to win it back again. Oh, let's get, get things kicked off here. Game number one between Furia and G2 Esports, a best of seven here in the upper bracket. He'll take a second shot at it as G2 turns it away. Kayo trying to get back to it. No help, though, as Chicago to Atomic. Can uh -oh. he get back? They need this third person to put this one on target. Quick double stab. He'll find it in the bottom left hand corner. G2 will open it up. These guys, I mean, they, they did everything right. So many attempts to not... I mean, they, they went for the ball at exactly the right time. They have many attempts to go before that, but they knew that was not the time. They, they waited and waited and waited until it was perfect. Atomic will just take some extra space with him down onto the blue side as... Oh, oh my gosh, he's actually going to find the dunk. What a play from Atomic. He pre-jumped up before he even knew he was going to hit it. What a read from Atomic. And then he dunks him again. <laughs> G2 able to tie it up. And he's actually looking for that play. You see him boosting for the ball, which clear for Furia. Can they hold on for five seconds as G2 need to do it in the air at this point? G2 
Shane Apps with support. Kyo's got to give ground. Furia, nice clear. Still going to be up. <laughs> Gentle. <laughs> Chicago really making sure Easy. he didn't drop that. Easy. Here's Jane Apps. They kill Easy. Oh, almost, <laughs> but not quite enough. Furia. They do a nice job to stay calm. Fury really moved up their line, mm -hmm. and G2 had a really hard time of figuring out how to break that line before they even got to the Furious side. Until the last 30 seconds, though. Yeah, until the last 30 <laughs> seconds. Okay, that's fine. They didn't score. Whoa, oh, there you go. J-Naps is going to poke one through onto the left-hand side here. They just beat Kayo to the ball and kind of hamstrings Yanks in the backfield, wow. and the last person rotating back couldn't deal with the placement. And when it comes off the ceiling like that, Jay Naps getting that second touch there. I mean, it's so tough to read that as a defender. And, and very interesting decision there. Atomic going all the way for that boost. I guess he just <laughs> didn't think Fury could get to that ball. And G2 trying wow. to get one back. Oh, wow. Chicago will regain the lead. Great pressure from G2 to get it back. Again, quick equalizer. I, I suppose in this case, go ahead goal, but that's what G2 really does quite well. Figure right. out when's the best time. It didn't see Atomic there before it was too late. G2 pushing wow. back the other way. Decent oh, enough pass, high, and it's going to tie up the defense. What a touch from Atomic. Two, three touches from Atomic. He came off his own back wall, the touch down the sideline, and then another one off oh. the back wall. He's all over it, and a great setup to his team. And he's been quiet. G2 have shut him down. G2 coming back the other Whoa. way. A demo will open things up, and it's 4-1. The demo plays from G2 are coming on, and they're coming very handy. You see how he opened all the space right there. I mean, Jax yeah. wasn't able to do anything against Chicago. And 4-1 lead, this is the, the biggest lead we have had so far. Now, Furia is doing a great job of nullifying the yes. teamwork yes. Uh, from G2. And to be fair, it's a little scary with a couple of those goal line saves. They're going to need oh. one here. It's not going to come. J -Naps. It's J-Naps and G2 on the board. Really nice job here from G2 on the approach. They gave up a little bit of space on the challenge. Wow, decided what to see read. if they can handle it. What a read is right. I, I don't know how you've got the timing down to that degree, but it's, it's pretty easy when you're that good, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Be a world-class player. It's really paid off for them here. Up by three. They're going to take this series. And G2 off to the upper finals. Well played. G2. A quality game in the upper bracket. Unfortunately for the opposition, <laughs> Jay, yeah. Yeah, you can ask for it now. You can ask for it. With, <laughs> hey, with the way he played, man, I mean, that was a fantastic series from Jay Naps. Again, in that last game was when he really came alive, and he's asking for it. And uh, G2, happy to hear the crowd roar for them. On the Nabula, I mean, they, they played so well, and they came up after a 4-0 uh, loss, yeah. Yeah. and they gave it back to Furia. Yeah. With a four, uh, well, it was a 4-1, but still a handed, a yeah. very handedly won uh, yeah. game. And as you mentioned, not the end of the road for Fury either. Nope. They will go down into the lower bracket. They will look at another dangerous team in Team Queso. Yeah. So the road gets harder for everybody involved. T-Bait standing by with Jane Apps. Let's go and hear what he has to say. Thank you, a cheese. YouTube Theater. You got Jane Apps here right with me. G2 Army, stand up, please. Naps, how are your emotions right now, man? You just had a great series against Fury. You're arguably one of your best series of the entire tournament so far. Talk to the people. Do you want me to hold it, or? Uh, if you want, I may. It's your yeah. show. Okay. I mean, I'm super happy. It's been two and a half years since we had a crowd, and I'm just happy to be here, honestly. No matter how good we would have done, I'm just happy to see all of you. Can we get loud for Naps, please? Listen, Naps, there's no BDS now. There's no Dignitas now. There's no NRG now. We had a pre-game interview, or media day, actually, talking about y'all have no competition, y'all added Atomic Massimo right there, baby. Is G2 going all the way? Talk to me. Oh, we're going all the way, baby. <laughs> last, but, last but not least, Naps. You've got the, you got the whole entire home crowd on your side. Reed's from Los Angeles. And y'all just balling out, man. Guaranteed top three. Where are you expecting this coming in? Just let me know. Get, get the people. Tell the people something. Um, I expected if we topped our group, like this format is super uh, top heavy. If you get first in your group, you have a good chance of going far in the tournament. So after beating BDS, we knew we had a really good chance to make a deep run in this tournament. And after that angry translator, are you the best in the world? Still no. <laughs>
Oh, man. But anyways, let's go. Hey, chat. Future Theater, let's get loud. Let's go, G2. Let's go, G2. <laughs> all righty, all righty. Woo, it's back. All right, we're going to bring it over to the break now. Catch y'all soon. As we take a look at the bracket, only four teams remain for gameplay tomorrow. Oh, In the upper bracket, still with two lives, Space Station mm -hmm. versus G2. Like, me and the G2 boys, we're like super cool with each other. You know, yo, yo, when, yeah. did you, when did you guys get here? Last year, actually. Hey, hey, guys, how is the flight here? Yeah, I mean, I'm just excited to play. Well, well, excited to play. All right. well, they don't like, talk. Guys tomorrow. Tonight? Tomorrow's going to be a good day, you know? Ever. Who are screaming that, guys, huh? Are you guys playing the K? Uh, no, that's cool. Yeah, I'll catch you guys later. That's that's fine. No, that's chill.